Topsy Games presents to you Gameplay Tutorials Minecraft. Hi there, Topsy Games here, and I'm back again with another tutorial. I had some requests here about uh, how to install buckets. Please do note that Bucket is not yet fully done. There isn't, uh, yeah, basically it's not done yet, so things may change and they most likely will. So do not think that this I will show you today will work tomorrow maybe or another day next week. So keep that in mind. But people are requesting me to do, do a tutorial on Bucket, how do I install Bucket, I can't install Bucket, da 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 So here I will go. This is as of today, the 20... I have no clue what's the date today. 24th of February. So this is how you install Bucket today. So what we're going to start with, the most important, the most mistake people are doing that's not familiar with Minecraft servers is that you need Java. Java! I won't go into what Java is, but you need Java. Every computer should have Java installed, but most computers you need to install it yourself. Okay, so what you do is that you go to java.com. Okay, simple. I'll put that in the description if you don't know how to spell Java. So here you have free download Java. So we're going to click on that one. And here you just agree and start download and then install. Nothing else. Remember, this is for Windows 7 or Windows Vista or XP Data. If you come from Macintosh or Linux, you have to do it another way. I'm not going to go through it here. This is just Windows 7 I'm running on. So, there is also version 7 beta out there um, that has some improvements and stuff like that, but I won't go into how to download and install that. I just go with the recommended one here down that's released. So, agree, start. I already downloaded this, so I don't go and do that. But agree and start download. Da, da, da. It's all totally free. So, when you've done that, it's nothing. Just install it, and then you don't have to do anything. Then it's installed. Okay. Then we're gonna start. So, let's create a folder on our desktop here. Yeah, my computer is a little bit slow today, and I have no clue why. So, let's. Oh my God, my f slow. We'll see. Let's name it to bucket. Tutorial, bucket tutorial. So here I'm gonna. Of course, you can name it to whatever you want. Minecraft server, uh, yada yada yada. And my computer is really lagging. I have no clue what's going on. Here we go. So here we have an empty folder. So what do we need to do? Of course, we need to go to Minecraft.net. On Minecraft.net, you go to download here, play Minecraft download. Scroll all the way down and here, multiply beta software. If you're running Windows, da 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 da, easily download that one. It will download. Okay, I'm back again. Sorry for that. Okay, so I downloaded Minecraft server.exe and I put it in the bucket tutorial folder where I just created. Look at the lag I have, this is crazy. Uh, well, I'm going to try to do this anyways. So here we have, don't not do anything with that, okay? Just leave it there, okay? Fine. Then we're going to do the bucket. The address to download the bucket is ci.bucket.org. CI, I'll put that link in the description. You will come to this page. Here's all the, as you see, it says dev bucket. That means it's development still. So it's not yet released for final version, but you can use it. Okay. Dev bucket, you do not need to even touch, okay? That's nothing for you. Dev shut bucket, nothing for you as of this date either. Okay. And dev scrap bucket is something else you don't need to worry about right now, okay? The only thing you need to worry about is dev craft bucket. Okay, craft bucket is the server wrapper for, the, for Minecraft, okay? Nothing else, that's the server. So we're gonna click on craft bucket here. And this is on Swedish, I'm really sorry for that. I don't know how to change that because it's like automatically for me, so I have no clue. But on the right side here, you should have something called promotion status. I don't know. So if you click that, you have recommended build. Okay, last recommended build. 
So this is what Buck itself says. This is a good and stable build as so far, so you can use it. Okay, so it says that the last stable build was 432 and it was 20 hours ago. Keep in mind to remind this number. You have build 432. This is very important when you go to plugins later on. So just check that your build is supported by that plugin, the new version. So you are not gonna you're now gonna download version 432. When you are doing this, maybe tomorrow or another day when you're watching this. It may be something else. I don't know, but you can watch it as you know. Go to recommended builds, promotion status, and recommended builds. Here you have. So here we have that artifacts, craft bucket, zero zero one snapshot dot jar. So we're gonna download that, and we're gonna save it, and we're gonna show it in the map, and we're gonna put it in the server together with Minecraft server. Okay. So there we go. Now in the server you should have the latest uh, recommended build of craft bucket and Minecraft server. Okay, now we need one more thing. And I already did this. We need this one. So, create a new. Now I'll recommend it because uh, I'm not going to go into details. You do. How you, if you don't know how to do this, maybe you're not the one that should have a <laughs> server. Because this is really a step in managing a server. I mean, if you don't know how to do this, then I'm really sorry. but. Create a new file, a new text document, or whatever. Like I click here and new and import a uh, regular text document, text document, or whatever you use for texts. I would recommend to get Notepad++. To get Notepad++, Google. Notepad++ first link, download, install. This is like Notepad, but it's more advanced. So this is the file you want to create. You want to create with this, add echo off. And then here you should put the links to your Java install. Now this may be different on what system you are or what, if you're running a 32 or 64 bit operating system. To see if you're running a 32 or 64 bit, go to, go to stop menu, uh, go to your computer and this right click somewhere here, properties, and now you see my crappy computer. But here we go, and it says system type 64 bit. So I got, if you have a 32 bit, it will say 32 bit there, okay. But I have a 64 bit, so that's how you find out if you have a 64 bit or 32 bit system. But I have a 64 bit, okay. So I found my way to where my Java is installed. And if you have 64 bit and you didn't change anything, it should be installed with this line. Okay. But if you're running a 32 bit, I think it's program files and not the 86 here. Yeah, I think it's gone with that, just program files and then Java, your 86 bin, and then your java.exe. Okay. When you have that, you define how much memory you want the server to be running. Okay, I'm not going to go into advanced mode here, you can go to really advanced, but basically one gigabyte of memory, if you want your server to dedicate one gigabyte memory to that on your computer, you is 1024M, like megabytes, so 1004. So basically if you want three gigabytes, it's not like 3000 here, it's 3000 something. You can go to Google and find out how much it is. I don't know this in my head, I'm really sorry, but some people may. But here you can change if you have two, three, five, how many gigs you have. I don't know how many gigs you want to dedicate for your server. But I would say if you and a friend or something like that you want to just test, one gigabyte is enough. Okay. I would not recommend to run lower than one gigabyte. And then you're going to have manage jar, because this is a jar file we're going to open. And what file do you want to open? Here it doesn't matter what it says, but this name must be exactly the same name as the file is called in your here. So this folder, when you download this crop pack in minus, but I thought that I was like, oh, that's long. So I just deleted that. There we go. So now I have a crop pack in its jar file, crop jar. So I see that it's crop jar. Okay. And then pause. So there we go. This line I will put in the description also, you can copy that. But remember, if you're not running a 64-bit system, this won't work. Okay. And by the way, if you don't have Java, your server won't start. So you need Java. <laughs> there we go. We have the three files. So Dobsy, what are we going to do now? Well, this one we won't touch. Okay. 
we're gonna touch the start. You can rename this to wherever you want this file, by the way. Oh, I forgot, sorry, I forgot. You should save this file as a .bat file, not .txt or something. It should be saved as .bat, B-A-T. In Notepad++, you can do that automatically by going to Save As. And this is why I like Crop Bucket. Sorry, Notepad++, because here you can save as so many fields. If you want to save it as a batch file, batch file, let's stop that. Okay, so now you have this. Now we click on start. So we double click on start, and you will see a DOS videos coming up. And here we go. You will get some warning message here first time. That's because it needed to download some stuff and put some stuff and fix some stuff. Okay, so don't worry about this. First time you start it, just close it down again. Okay. Here we go. Now we have our server ready. So what we can do is server properties. There we go, server properties. I'm gonna edit that one. And here we can change something. So level name world, should be world. Hell world, do I want my map to be hell? No, I won't. <laughs> This doesn't, if if you put true here, it's not that you can like, oh, now I can go for portal and stuff. That's another thing, I can take that later, but hell world is just every chunk that's, when you join your map, every chunk that you load will be hell world chunks. I won't recommend to set this to true, I won't recommend that. Online mode should always be true, I won't even explain what it is, because, no, it's just, you can read it up, but online mode should be true, okay. Spawn animals, do you want animals on your server? True or false? Max player, how many max players do you want to have? If you want to dedicate a specific IP number to your server, if you have multiple IP numbers, this probably won't affect you, so just forget about that. Okay. Do you want PvP on your server? True or false? Server port, you can change that if you want to de dedicate a special port for it, but I won't recommend that. Uh, well, not at least if you're just running on a local computer and just want to... Remember, I won't give you support if you come back to me and said people can't connect to my server. Well, that's basically because you have a firewall blocking them. You need to open up your boot, do port forward, your router, firewall, whatever. I won't go into that. Sorry, but I won't give it. There's a lot of tutorials how to do port forwards and stuff like that. Whitelist. This is new in Minecraft Beta uh, 1.3. Uh, where now it's integrated whitelist. Whitelist means that you have a list. Here, whitelist.txt. If a player connects to your server and their name is not on this list, they cannot connect. So this is like a secured option. So that's very good to have. Spawn protection. Do you want players to be able to destroy your spawn point? Do you know when you spawn into the server? Do you want players to place block and destroy blocks in there? I guess not. You want to do a nice spawn point? Set that to how many blocks in a square you want it. So you're standing a block. Now it's 16 North, south, west, and so like a square round spawn point. Okay, there we go. Also very plain, we have a folder called ops. This means the administration of the server. Here you should put in your name. Remember, capitalized. Uh, like if you have a capitalized letter or something, you need to put in, it's need exactly how you have it. Save that. And uh, basically, this is it. So let's start it up. There we go. And as I said, my computer is really slow today. I have no clue why. Yeah, this is really slow. I have no clue. But yeah, now it's working, it's preparing world. I don't know why it's so slow for me right now, because my computer is all about to go insane. But uh, it's preparing spawn area, blah, 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 and then you can just connect to your server by just running a local host. If you're running on a local computer, just type local host in the IP and you will connect to your server. Uh, I will do part one. In part two, I will go through some plugins. Um, but uh, as I said, Bucket is still in development and plugins keep breaking and da yada yada yada. So 
Uh, I will see if I can do tutorial on plugins when it becomes more stable. But this was tutorial just to get your server up and running. So this was all for me now. Please like this video if you like it. Dislike it if you don't like it. And uh, post comments below if you wonder something. See you next time. Bye.